Hi, this is uh, Dr. Kavita, Dermatologist and Cosmetologist. Today I am going to speak about hair loss. Hair, there are many kinds of hair loss. Among the many types, telogen effluvium is the commonest one seen and it is more common in women. So what is telogen effluvium? Uh, it is a temporary thinning of hair on the scalp because of changes in the growth cycle of the hair so which leads to increased shedding of the telogen hair in the growth cycle so it can be acute or chronic acute where there is history of hair loss around three months and chronic where there is history more than three months so what are the causes of acute telogen effluvium see it might be seen uh, in the people who have suffered uh, fevers for a long time like uh, typhoid uh, malaria dengue or after a childbirth after delivery or after a accidental trauma after a long emotional distress or after a um, uh, major surgical operations where there is severe hemorrhage and uh, the people who are using medications like oral contraceptives or hormonal replacement treatment etc so coming to specific treatment uh, uh, give the patient uh, uh, like hey, dietary supplements which contain biotin pantothenic acid calcium supplements and even uh, minor um, uh, amino acid supplements and ask them to have good protein rich uh, diet and uh, lots of natural diet like uh, rich in fruits salads sprouts and all and uh, if uh, other things uh, like emotional distress and if the person is having anorexia nervosa and all ask a patient to take psychiatric consultation as well and uh, uh, there are many uh, hair root strengthening uh, medicines available in the market like uh, uh, peptide serums and even minoxidil and all they can be tried and ask the patient to use mild shampoos where the pH of the hair follicles are maintained nowadays medicated shampoos are really good uh, ask them to go for it and uh, avoid hair styling gel gels as much as possible and other things uh, like uh, co cosmetic uh, uh, gels or cosmetic procedures as much as possible. So uh, ask the patient the history of uh, you know like all these causes but if the uh, obvious cause is not known so go for investigations go for iron studies thyroid function tests or other um, anti-nuclear antibody tests, is, uh, rule out SLE, lupus and last but not the least like even HIV, syphilis etc. So uh, then even um, in young women address these days young women are going for crash diet for you know like slimming down and all where they are least bothered about their nutritional deficiency so address their eating habits and um, uh, like there might be deficiency of uh, vitamins, minerals, protein, energy, malnutrition and also their uh, dietary habit should be uh, addressed and uh, again uh, like uh, history of medicinal intake to, to be ruled, ruled out and if they are not uh, necessary to the patient then ask the patient to stop those medicines.